And guys, welcome back to channel. back to another video. And in today's video, um, we're getting some things done on that E91. Now, this is nor the future, so I know exactly what went down on the E91. And I just want to say that things went down pretty smoothly. But before we actually get into any of that stuff, I do want to get into today's shout out. For those of you guys who don't know, I'm doing a giveaway throughout this series till the end of this month, where basically you enter for a giveaway to either win some Milwaukee products, a Bluetooth speaker, um, a retrofit kit, some key cases from Keys Motorsports. All that stuff is being given away by the end of this month for anyone that purchases merch, as well as being on the plaque and being shouted out in this video, which for those of you guys who purchased merch since the last video, you're gonna be shouted out right about now. So the people that won the giveaway, their names are gonna be right over here. I'm actually gonna try to read the first names because I, I, I pretty much suck with first names and last names, but I think first names are a little bit easier. So shout out to Brian, Daniel, Leonardo, Darren, Pedro, Fabian, Bader, Philip, Mark. I hope I say this one right, Sim, Rat, Pal. I'm hoping, I'm hoping. Shout out to Chris, Miguel, Steven, Justin, another Chris, Raymond and Marco, Corbin and Alexander, JC, Anurag. There's a bunch of A's right now. Ahmed and Alex and Anthony. <laughs> Two Michaels, AMB, and uh, the last name is the guy that purchased my Atlantis Blue M3. Shout out to all you guys for supporting the channel and also being entered for the giveaway. All these funds are literally going towards the paint job of the E91 M3. That thing I'm estimating like five to $10,000 to paint. Um, so that is severely over budget. I, I mean, I really want a proper paint job on this thing. So we're trying to take it to the proper place. All the funds I'm getting through the website is gonna be going towards that. So if you guys wanna help in any way possible, um, cop anything you guys want off the website. And again, enter for the giveaway, shout out in the next video and on to the E91 plaque forever. So now getting into the video, me and my brother had to do a lot of work to get this E91 pretty much ready uh, to get rolled into the garage. We're pretty much super close to getting this car in the garage. That is the primary goal. So when my boy Nick gets here, we can actually do all the coding and do the wiring and stuff like that in the garage with his proper lighting. And it's been raining on and off, but I just want to make sure that rain doesn't rain on us as we're doing electrical stuff. So I really wanted to get that thing inside the garage. So long story short, so the goal of today's video, we're gonna be trying to put on as much panels as possible to protect pretty much the entire car and also uh, to make it look like a real M3. So that's pretty sick. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into the video. The first thing we actually do is actually get a battery so we can start working on some of the electrical, get some power to the car. And, uh, and I'm not gonna lie guys, uh, it turns out the best bang for the buck is a BMW battery. So your man actually bought his first BMW battery in over five years of doing YouTube. BMW battery for $270. That's with my discount too. It's a lot of money for a battery, but it's not bad for a BMW battery. So I think we need a proper, you know, like cinematic for this battery because that, that's pretty much where all the money went right there. So now that we got the battery fully installed in this rainy weather, <laughs> I am doing the best that I can right now, guys. I have to head back inside, make a custom harness so we can actually get that dashboard in. And guys, in the middle of this Cali rain, he went ahead, got this battery installed, and we got all the wiring over here situated as well. I'm super happy about that. I'm just hoping this rain doesn't get much worse because uh, I'm not gonna lie, guys, uh, this isn't really working out. I'm gonna go ahead and head inside and get the Natty Performance harness, retrofit harness, from a non-nav to a nav so we can actually put that dash in the car and actually have navigation when the time comes. Not only are we retrofitting navigation, but we're retrofitting a navigation that most of you guys have never seen before. So that's gonna be super unique. It's definitely costing me an arm and a leg. I think over $2,000 just on this navigation system. You guys can tell how much money I'm spending to make this happen. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and get that Natty Performance harness, get that bad boy installed so we can install our dashboard again. If any of you guys want that harness as well, it's on my website, link down below. Guys, 
<laughs> the E91 M3 build is becoming a reality. I mean, just look at this. This looks so sick. We definitely need to throw the fender on it. The fender right now is not the priority. I'm trying to prevent water from going inside the car. It's been raining like crazy, as you guys can see. Like, if you guys look at the floor right now, it is all wet. It's been raining absolutely like crazy. I actually had to invite my boy, uh, my brother, actually not my boy, he's my brother, uh, to come help me get this stuff sorted so I can at least move this uh, umbrella uh, further back. Because right now, um, most of the water is getting in the rear. That's where the battery is. That's where the amplifier is. And I don't want things getting short circuited. Um, so we want to put on all the doors. We put on the hood. So as of right now, we can move the umbrella back as soon as we at least get these two front doors on, which is any anyway, long story short, I want to get as all the doors on. I want to get the trunk on. I want to get all the panels on and uh, it's definitely gonna look a lot better that way too. So I'm pretty excited guys. Let's get to it. And guys, after that amazing drive, me and my brother actually ended up getting some food and we didn't even film it because we were it was so, so good. It was so good. <laughs> was so good. We ended up getting some fire wings. It was super good. Talk about healthiness. I know, I know. You can bash me in the comments all you want. Anyways, we're officially back and my brother's gonna be helping me get this dashboard in the car. Guys, I could not be happier. We have the retrofit harness. We're gonna go ahead and just wire that up real quick. And then we also have the dashboard, which is super exciting. Once we actually get this dashboard in the car, we can actually install a steering wheel and actually have some movement in this car, which is super nice. And we got to start getting in some of the other stuff. Um, so we can start getting some more electronics in the car. The dashboard's an important key and it's gonna definitely clean up this interior as well. So without further ado guys, let's go ahead and get this bad boy in. And just like that, guys, we are at the end of the video. As you can see, the progress on the E91 M3 is phenomenal. I absolutely love this car. It's really coming together. It is still a mess and a half, and uh, we got a lot of work on our hands, especially when it comes to the wiring and things like that to get everything to work properly. But hopefully, my boy Nick is flying down to be helping us with all that stuff. So hopefully, all that stuff gets sorted in the, probably in the next video. So if you guys are excited for that, make sure to smash the like button. Do not forget to enter the giveaway to support the channel and be a part of this build. But without further ado, guys, that is going to have to conclude this video. So I love you all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.